So we're now moving from the UK to the Netherlands and with a warm welcome, I present to you our next speaker, Luis Bracamontes. Um, Luis is, in, is an award-winning queer feminist poet based in Rotterdam and in his works, he focuses on topics such as mental health, the queer experience and safe spaces. He's also the founder of Unwanted Words, a platform for up and coming queer voices in spoken word and poetry, as well as the host of the Queer Poetry Nights. So we're now going to listen to his performance of, the, of his poem, The Power of the Word. The stage is yours, Louis. Thank you so much, Larissa. And hello, everybody. It's a pleasure being here and being part of this great initiative. Great job. Uh, to everybody in the team of What Matters Now. And I'm really happy um, to follow the amazing insights of this, uh, of the performers and speakers in this vlog. I think the curation adds up very well. Uh, I myself consider myself a spoken word artist. And very often people uh, ask me, uh, why poetry? Like, what's the deal with it? What's so special about spoken word? It's not like the world needs another poet. So I tell them, well, hold up, sweetheart. Let's get it together because I'm about to drop all of this on you. You see, words can create, words can uplift, words can bring you down, words can get you canceled. Words can build a future. You may ask, what is the purpose of poetry? What is the power of the word? You forget words I would give you power over nature, as language made it possible to speak to the gods. I tell you poetry is kissing that power from above, from below, from within, kissing it and using the rhythm of the words to summon this deep, soft, smooth, warm fire you've come to call your voice. A voice that holds the magic to create a moment in space and time between you and I. No shame, no rush, no air, every word you could feel all gone with the power of the word. A word that once said, I have a dream, and it resonated in the skins of a million black histories and the many more to come. A word that once said, hashtag me too, and it liberated women from their oppressors and their prisons of shame, disgust, and assault. A word that once said, black lives matter, trans lives matter. A word that once said, nobody is free until every single one of us is free. Until refugees are safe, until queer kids are protected and seen. A poet harnesses the words to share that power and inspire the minds and hearts that want to break free. A poet creates a vision of a world that doesn't exist just yet, but it's about to begin. Thank you very much. And I would like to finish my segment um, by inviting everybody to take an intersectional stance to your everyday life. Existence, identity is not one dimensional. We are race, we are um, gender, we are uh, uh, political groups, we are nationalities, we are multi-layer individuals. The problems cannot be addressed in a one dimensional basis. So go around <laughs> your day, spreading kindness and trying to understand the multiple layers of identities of people around you and supporting oppressed groups, minorities, because a society is only as good as the policies that protect their most, most vulnerable communities. Thank you very much. <laughs> 